Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Cars Videos Tube. Today we are testing the facelifted fourth generation of Suzuki Vitara. This is a, a car that has been sold under a numerous uh, number of uh, names and you can see all of them right here. So Suzuki is a smaller scale manufacturer here in Europe but in some parts of the Asia and especially in India it is a really really powerful brand. They usually make some cheaper models small cars but they sell it there in huge quantities but today we are talking about the new or better said uh, facelifted Suzuki Vitara and this is the fourth generation model it has been um, redesigned uh, throughout the, uh, for, uh, for about uh, three years ago and um, the fact is uh, if we compare it to the predecessor, this car is 30 centimeters shorter, which is, let's say, unusual or unorthodox uh, doing in, in this uh, industry. The model has 1.4 liter booster jet uh, direct, direct injection turbocharged engine, and uh, with this combination, they uh, managed to improve um, fuel efficiency and um, get more ho horsepower from less displacement. So 1.4 liter engine and uh, 140 horsepower, which is a rather nice uh, number for this uh, displacement. Uh, I have to say, it, it isn't um, Vitara isn't uh, real off-roader anymore. Uh, it is an SUV, but uh, a very capable uh, SUV in terms of um, uh, off-road cap capabilities. It is one of the few um, SUVs that has um, lack of differential, uh, which sometimes could be crucial. Uh, if you stay in mud or in snow. Uh, it also has some drive modes to help you out uh, with uh, specific uh, driving styles and, uh, and also uh, road conditions. Uh, and it's rather nice to drive. I have to say it is kind of very agile um, if we compare it to, to some comp competitors. Uh, on the other hand, I would really love if the um, uh, steering would be a bit more direct. Uh, it is fun to drive, I have to say. It is rather nice, uh, compact uh, car, but there it could be. Yeah, it could, there could be even more fun if. Um, the steering would be a bit more direct. I have to say, the Vitara interior is a nice place to be. It has uh, nicely, nicely uh, designed uh, dashboard. Uh, they also have this uh, nice uh, central display to give you some uh, crucial or less crucial information about um, the driving. The infotainment system is great. Uh, it's easy to use and um, it's also um, it's also well assembled. But what I, what I dislike is this plastic. And um, well, 
that's the way it is. Uh, on the other hand, we can say it has a bit more of a um, off-road feel than it is. Now, as I said before, you get plenty of car for this money, and um, one of the few that actually have real off-road capabilities, uh, despite being much softer than it was in, uh, in the past. So that's all for today and um, see you soon. Have a nice day, bye.